Hey everyone, this is Melissa from Little Owl Academy. Today my video is a search video. I am searching for parents or anyone who has children that they know of with a metabolic disease called beta ketothiolase deficiency. It's super rare. In fact, it's so rare that my doctor only has one other patient in, in about four states that he covers that has this metabolic disease. And my son has this disease and I am just trying to find people who have this disease so we can, we can talk and we can maybe compare and we can maybe see what helps and what doesn't help. Um, beta ketothiolase is so rare that think of like diabetes, diabetes, it's a horrible disease. But as a parent, you can go online and you can research and you can find out ways to help and you can join support groups and you can have all these ways to help you. Beta ketothiolase is so rare that when I do a Google search or when I search online, everything I find is pretty short. It's a very doctor oriented description. So in other words, very confusing to my mind that doesn't understand all the specific doctor terms, and it um, there just isn't a lot of information. In fact, I have not found anything out there from a parent um, whose child has beta ketothiolase. So I wanted to share my story. If you know, in this whole world, if you know someone with beta ketothiolase deficiency, please share this with them so I can get in touch with them because I would love to know how you've helped your child. So this is my son Brody, kind of a silly picture, but this actually started our beta ketothiolase um, journey. He, when he was a newborn, he tested positive for beta ketothiolase on the newborn screener. All babies are screened for it. But a few weeks later, we went back and did a urine test like um, you do for anything like this to double check. And it came back clear, said he didn't have it. So we continued on with his little life just like a normal child would. He had lots and lots of ear infections his first year of life, which honestly, I believe saved his life because it kept him up a lot at night. So I was feeding him a lot at night. With beta ketothiolase deficiency, you shouldn't fast for more depending on your weight. Right now we're at 12 hours, so he shouldn't sleep longer than 12 hours. But when you're a new little baby, he shouldn't have been going more than three hours without eating. So it started making him pretty sick. He stopped hitting milestones that he should have been hitting. Um, he grew pretty well, but he wasn't moving the way that he should. He wasn't speaking the way that he should. So when he was 21 months old, this is him right here when he was 21 months old he got sick and he got the flu and he started throwing up and he wasn't eating we took him to the doctor they just said it was the flu take him home took him back to the doctor they said still just the flu take him home finally we went to the doctor again this is that morning i tried to take him for a walk because i thought maybe being outside would make him feel better we, we walked about mm, a 16th of a mile and i turned around and went home and straight from there we put him in the car and we drove him to the doctor and they said there's something seriously wrong with him sent him upstairs so we were at the riverton hospital in utah they sent us upstairs to a primary children's outpatient center it was there that he got extremely sick and well he was already sick got even more sick this was there i remember them just pumping him full of these huge syringes of liquid just pumping him full because he was so dehydrated and so sick and from there when you look at the doctor and you can tell that the doctor is scared i got really scared so from there they told us that he was being sent on a life flight helicopter um pretty terrifying as a mom even more terrifying for us because just a few months before my brother-in-law had passed away while I'm on life flight. So I kind of have a fear of these helicopters. Um, but he was super sick. There he is with his daddy, really sick. Oh, it just makes me sad. He was so, so sick. So there's his helicopter, his special helicopter came, picked him up, flew. It took him about, I think it was a seven minute flight or something like that from the Riverton Hospital to Primary Children's in Salt Lake City. I was almost nine months pregnant. So my husband, I couldn't fly, so my husband drove me in the car to the hospital. And, I mean, as you can see there, he started out like a normal, happy, this perfect little baby. I mean, look how perfect he is. We had no idea that he had this rare metabolic disease. And then we are back 21 months later, and, and all of a sudden there's something wrong, and we have no idea what it is. So they flew him from a helicopter to Primary Children's Hospital, and it was there that 
they again said they think it's just the flu and they were going to send us home but i knew something was so wrong and it was there that i believe a miracle occurred and we met a metabolic doctor um hunter underhill is his name he is an amazing doctor for primary children's hospital and he got asking about Brody's history and, and his past. And we said, I think I remember there was some random test when he was a baby that he tested positive for. Looks it up, sees it's beta ketothiolase. Right away, he knows that's what it is. He went on to do some extra testing as well. So we knew for sure. And a few days later, we found out that he has beta ketothiolase. Basically, what beta ketothiolase is, in your body, you eat food. Your body burns that food and creates ketones. Ketones are used when you're fasting to give you energy. Well, in beta ketothiolase, you can't use those ketones. So your body has to constantly be, not constantly, but you need to be eating and you need to take care of your body because it cannot use those ketones for extra energy later. So our journey has been a little bit different because we found out he had this metabolic disease, but he had already had 21 months of his life where he was really sick and his body was really far behind. So he is now three. So we've known for a little over a year of this disorder and he has been in intense physical therapy and intense speech therapy since that point. The physical therapy kind of went first because he was not walking. He couldn't even stand on his own. So we went, and he's been working on standing and working on walking. He's made huge progress. Um, the next is his speech. So again, perfect little baby. He still is perfect on my eyes, but he just, we didn't know. And that's the thing about beta kid that is, I wanna know if any of you parents out there have a child that maybe you didn't know, and you found out later what has happened with your child. What What's it like? I would just love to know if it's similar to my son or not. This is him now. He, like I said, he's three and he goes, other than physical therapy, he has intense speech therapy. And he, um, right now he does the majority of his speech therapy at the local elementary school. And I just feel like I'm sending this out there. I feel like there's probably 0% chance that I'm going to find a parent whose child has beta ketothiolase, but I would love to find you. I, I just want to know what it's been like for you. What have you found to help? Our kind of way to help him, um, he takes a medicine called level carnitine that helps with his energy, basically, and he drinks cornstarch in milk at night before bed because cornstarch takes longer to burn than regular um than, than milk basically and so he goes a lot less time fasting that way so sending it out there here from little l academy melissa mom of brody if you know anyone that has a metabolic disorder called beta ketothiolase deficiency please comment below let me know i'd love to find other moms like you or dads or whoever if you have a child that you know when i searched youtube to see if there was even any videos on this disease there was one video that I could find, and it literally was about 30 seconds long giving the medical definition. So this is me, a normal mom who is not medically smart, I would put it that way. I have really had to learn, and I have a lot still to learn, calling out for help. If any of you know, please comment below. Hopefully I hear from some of you. See you later.